really excited. I'm really excited. You know, any type of magical show, I'm always excited because magic is just so exciting. Why not? <laughs> Your host with the absolute you already know always most the problem with this hey chill out definitely bring the tea all right what's up what's going on my beautiful people okay welcome back to my channel if this is your first time to my channel honey i love you and you know the way you can show that love back around here is you can click that subscribe button right there and also click that notification bell so you know my craziness is being publicized all right and also you know i love my folks opinions so go ahead and hit me with the comments down below so without further ado let's get right into it so yes you guys by the title you see is some witchy business being cooked up oh my god just in time almost for the halloween you know fall is one of my favorite seasons child because it's some of that hocus pocus going on so yes so i have three different subjects of witchy situations to discuss with y'all today so i will start with the most most recent so as you know they are coming out with a remake of the craft yes for those that don't know what the craft is honey i'm gonna need for you to go get from under that rock that you've been under and go find it on demand somewhere because that movie is bomb it's bomb absolutely so yes the craft is a movie that was um basically made in the like the late um 1990s and it was consistent of about four girls um that were witches one of them were a new girl from out of town and she got into this new town and she met these other three girls who were kind of already in it but um it really didn't get serious until the fourth girl came because she was like the the fourth element of the coven like earth air water and fire so she completed the circle and they did this ritual and then they started getting these um superpowers or whatever these supernatural abilities no nah, they was actually making shit happen okay so now the remake um is 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 set to come out in 2020 but they have revealed all of the witches the new witchy crew okay so they first um the first witch that they um came out with, with which was gonna be the new girl her name is Haley spaney i don't know how to say i'm sorry if i said your name wrong honey but you, you, you you should have had a pronunciation with your name. <laughs> Her name is Kaylee Spaney. And yes, she's actually um, featured on a couple of things. But the most known one is she featured on the movie Pacific Rim Uprising. So yes, she's going to be, you know, the, the new girl. So yes. And then we have our other three witches that they just came out with. So I'm going to start my favorite. Her name is Lovey Simone. And yes, she is my girl from Greenleaf. What, the, the granddaughter on Greenleaf. Now, if you don't watch the show Greenleaf... I suggest you watch it. Yes, it's a show about church, but it's a show that gets into the dark stuff that goes on behind the scenes in the church. That's why I absolutely love it, because that stuff is going on today in real life. So, yeah, she's off of Greenleaf. She's going to be um, one of the witches. Of course, she's going to be the black girl, because there was only one black girl in the craft. So, anyways, moving along, we also have Gideon Adlon. Um, yes, she's known for a Netflix series called The Society. Um, I really don't know too much about her. But yes, she's going to be joining the cast as well of our witches. And last but not least, we have Zoe Luna. Now, this girl, she is actually a, trans, a teen transgender. And she actually has been on a couple of things herself. But I know her from the show Pose. And she had a little feature role on there as well. So... Like I said, the new craft is supposed to be coming out in 2020. The plot of it is based about 20 years after the original. So, it's about the same time. Like, back because the craft came out in, like, I believe 1998 or something like that. So, it'll, it'll be, like, based in our time, like, in 2019. So, I'm really excited about that because the craft... You know they don't want shit. <laughs> the crowd was about sick, girl. So I'm really excited about that. 2020, hurry up, and I hope they do well. I hope they don't muck it up like they've been mucking up most of these doggone remakes. Huh. Please don't let me get into that. Anyways, moving right along. So another remake that we're having um, come up soon. HBO has announced that they're going to be making a prequel of the movie Practical Magic. Yes, the movie with Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock. One of the most underrated Halloween movies ever because that shit was bomb too. You know what I'm saying? So the difference between this one is not going to be a sequel. It's going to be a prequel. So this is going to be basically based off of because you know practical magic was um based off of a series of books that were written by alice hoffman and the prequel is going to be based off of rules of magic and that was the first book that was prior to um practical magic 
Now, Rules of Magic is going to be a little bit different from um, the actual original um, Practical Magic because Rules of Magic is going to be based on the aunts from um, Practical Magic when they were younger. Yes, Franny and Jet Owens. So, it's going to be based around them and it's set in New York in the 1960s. So, it's going to be based with them and also they have a brother named Vincent. So, it's got, they're just basically figuring out that they have like these special abilities and that they are, they're witches or whatever. So, growing into their power, they get people to start fearing them or whatever and also respect them as well. So, upon discovering that they're witches and, and you know, getting into their witch badassness, their brother leaves an unexpected legacy. And I'm really excited about what that is. I probably won't even wait for the show to start airing. I'm going to probably go get the book. <laughs> and read it <laughs> so I can be ahead of the game, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, it said that there is going to be an absolutely new cast. Of course, they're not going to use the same aunts from Practical Magic because they're kind of like, you know, old and soggy. <laughs> Excuse me, I still love y'all. They're, they're old, and this is based off when they were younger. Um, people are trying to see if um, Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman are going to make a feature on this show. And yes, it is a show. It's going to be about, um, if they say that HBO has ordered about 10 episodes of it, and it's going to be airing in 2020 as well. So... I'm really excited. I'm really excited. You know, any type of magical show, I'm always excited because magic is just so exciting. Why not? <laughs> so, yes, it's going to be airing on HBO, and I can't absolutely wait. So, you know what? HBO, don't muck it up. Usually, HBO be doing their thing when it comes to their original series anyway because Penny Dreadful, huh, if you ain't seen that show, please go watch it. But other than that, beautiful people, that's it for that. It's going to be called, I don't think, yes, I believe it's going to be called Rules of Magic. And just look out for that in 2020. But aside from that, moving right along to our next subject of witchy business. So, Sabrina, oh, you know that's my girl. That's my witch. That's my witch bitch right there. So, the chilling adventures of Sabrina have finally wrapped up the filming for part three of the series. Oh, my God. I am so excited because the first two parts, oh, my God. I'm so excited. So the ending of the um the ending of season two it ended with we found out that Sabrina was Lucifer's daughter and um that they trapped him into Sabrina's boyfriend's body um I believe his name is Nicholas Scratch they uh, they trapped him inside of Nicholas's body and Lilith crowned herself the queen of hell and they she took him down to um she took Nicholas's body to hell just for safekeeping so that Lucifer would wouldn't escape just in case he escaped the body he will still be trapped in hell so this season is going to be basically geared around the Fright Club, which is um, Sabrina, Harvey, um, and her two other friends, they are going to come together and come up with a plan to go down to hell and get Nicholas. Now, there are plenty of ways this thing can backfire because I'm like, you go get that boy, that Satan, and Satan is still in his body, honey, you already know what's going to happen with that situation. And then you think Lilith is going to let you take Satan out of hell? That is that. Like, girl, y'all going to get some beef with Lilith, and, and Lilith don't play. I Me mean, Warlow don't play. I love me and Warlow. She's one of my favorite characters on there. So, it's going to be some type of witchy drama up in that situation, of course. And I can't wait for it. So, the new season of Part 3, they usually premiere the new season during, around the Halloween time. But, they're actually going to premiere it in November or December of this year. So, I'm excited about that. And also, they say that Season 4 is going to start filming in February. So... You know it's a good show when they, when the third season ain't even came out and they already been approved for a fourth one. So, honey, I'm excited. So, anyways, beautiful people, that is all the witchy business I got for you today. Anything else, y'all just hit me with them comments below. And like I said, once again, if you got this video, give it a big old fat thumbs up. Other than that, beautiful people, always remember, be unapologetically you. Peace out.